want to go to somewhere. Hey, me go fair, Joe. Me, I don't want to dance. Joe means dance in Yoruba. Also, for me, wait. He or she told me that, you know. Also, for me, wait. Also, for me, wait. Go. See. And come, come. Come, come means what? Nothing. Nothing. Or. Nothing. Or something. Something is in come. Right? But you can use them interchangeably. So, you want to write that down? Mo, me, e, me, me. Un call me. My own. My own. That belongs to me. Un call me. And this in English will be me. M E. You see how simple that is? Nka me my own. Nka ka nothing at all or something. Also for me pe ko si nka ka there's nothing. He told me there's nothing. She told me there's nothing. Ko si there is no, none. Go on, nothing. Uh, yes, question. I want to try to construct this one. All right. Um, Hold on. What do you want to do? Before you go, try to have it in mind that this is your destination. Your destination is maybe you want to use a house, you want to use an object, you want to use your destination. Your destination is maybe you want to use a house, you want to use an object, you want to use have it in mind first and then put it inside inside the sentence. Let's go. Um, more Titi Titi. That's the name of a girl. I'm going to say Happy. T. T. More. T. Jail. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Now you switch those two words like this. Mio, T, Fe, Je, Nkonko. So I said it right? Shefe, Kosi, Ori, Boke, Wa, Krosa. Yeah. Kiti, Oba. You said, Mo, T, Fe, Je, Come, come. Right? And now it should be uh mo this is me T Fe J This this made it wrong. So this should be M I O Neo Neo uh -huh. Because that O means not. T. Ah, T, this way. Fe. J. Fe, J. Ngongong. You go to a party and then. You sat down on the table, the round table, and then they were asking you, do you want to eat now? And say, uh, and she, oh, thank you. Me and tea, fey, jay, Right? And then if you are hungry, and they come again, uh, she, ati, ati, fey, jay. And they can mix, do a mix yoruba, and say, she, ati, ready, lati, jay. And you say, Benny, 
Right? So, you are correct, but you missed this one. Alright, in your construction. Which, even if you say this, they, they will understand what you are trying to say to them. Right? But this is the correct one. Meal. And this O means not. Or co. Co like KO. Right? So you remove that K and it's still Bali. This is still Bali. This is still Yoruba. Even without the K. Right? When the Oyo people or Obomosho people start talking, they, they will talk in Yoruba slang. They, 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 the sentence will be bouncing and moving like that. You know, when they want to say Ekolo, which is earthworm, they will say Eko. <laughs> they take the L out, right? They just crush the whole sent uh, the whole word together and call it Eko. You know. So some words you hear, you say. This is so short, they say it's so, so short and smooth and they will just be bouncing off these words and you think uh, that's how the word was originally, but no, that's how they speak their own language on Yoruba. Alright, let's move on. Be able to speak Yoruba fluently, without no problem. And one is down, one is medium, and one is high. So if you are speaking, if you say Mofelo Jeon, you are not speaking Yoruba really, right? You are just speaking the word without the accent. But people will still understand you. Like it's like an Igbo person speaking Yoruba, or Hausa person speak, speaking Yoruba, or somebody from South South speaking Yoruba. Without no accent, right? I used to have a a friend in school. He is from the uh, it's from Benin, but when he wants to say, I want to say, tell you something, and check in so for an now, check in so for an wrong Yoruba, but I understood. <laughs> so, check in so in so he switched the word like trying to say the word if it was written in English, right? But in Yoruba, we switch the word backwards most of the time. The, the preceding one will come back and the one in will come forward. That's how we, we speak. So, Monfero, I like Lati to one come to come see to Ile house echo lang language or uh, education or study Yoruba. Right? So in most cases, it's not going to translate exactly this in English. But this is how you will say it. Fair wrong. Fair means to like. Wrong means to encompass something. To encase something. To wrong. When they say in or wrong, you know what that means, right? You you heard that phrase before? In or wrong, fire engulfs something and starts to spread. That's in or wrong. In or is fire. Wrong, spread, or en encompass something, engulf something. So, fair wrong is like it, you embrace it, right? That's what that means. More. This is me, just like we explained here. It's still you. The moment this M gets out of it and you leave O, O Pharaoh, O will mean somebody in front of you. Right? If this M is silent, you don't say it, that means you in front of me. You can you can use O for the congregation or Multitude of people. You can't say O. Oh, you got to say E. Eh. If they are far away from you, over there, you say 
one one pharaoh because they are far away from you one w r n we r n right so <clears throat> o for your eight mate and your friend and your junior you use o for them a